They don't like this. They want us off that beach. <clears throat> you getting emotional? On March 18th, things changed drastically. The park is closed in three years. The park is closed in three years. I know how silent it is. And I fought and I stayed open. And so I know we can do the same thing right there. You're the woman, you get the food. So Friends of Oceano Dunes um, has been fighting for like 20 years now because they just, the people out there just keep on throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks. Exactly. They are fighting lawsuit after lawsuit, so we need to raise money to support them and back them up. They back us up. They ride. They're riders like us. So we're going to go in there and introduce you to them and the whole room full of people that feel the same way that you do. They love to ride and they want to keep their freedom. And wait till you see the stuff that's being raffled off and oh, uh, auctioned off. Yeah, and live auction for some stuff. I don't know. All right, here we go. Also, Brandy's going to be live streaming. That will already be done. We'll okay. upload it, though. So yeah. let's do this thing. I'm ready. Remember, if you're watching this channel and you're an off-roader, these are your people. Again, these are your people. Remember, if you're watching this channel and you're an off-roader, these are your people. This might not be your favorite video that we do. Sorry. I get that. Sorry, not sorry. But it's important. Uh, we're going to go inside. We're going to show you what's going on. Hopefully you stick with us at least a little bit, right? Come on, guys. Just hang out for a little while. Yeah. Talk to your people. See what kind of good stuff's going on here. And we'll try not to make it too painful. I'm going to make it so painful. But look at this Jeep. What? I mean, too you can't go fun. wrong with this. Mafia. Huh? No Billy Mafia. You can't go wrong with that. Oh. We got some rugged people over there. Lots of rugged shirt. There's a lot of rugged. Good. We got some Epic. We got some Clausen. We got some Dandy. All kinds of stuff. Okay. All right. What's going on? What's noisy? It is noisy. That's a good noise. It's like a, a distant rumble of people that are like.
cat babies. Yep, Trip and Booski and Brutus. <laughs> but I'm sure I said whatever we if we won, we're gonna donate it back, so it doesn't matter. We're gonna give it to the next runner up. Well they they took care of it for you, right? And they did help me wrap it up because I was having difficulty. I was trying to wrap it and it was just a mess. Go! 
of trying to keep the Ocean Island dunes open because they're a threat for closure. We've been told by many people that the dunes would have closed if it were not for us. So, although it's extremely frustrating for all of us when we go out there and see those fences, I've never had a problem convincing a Republican to keep the beach open. But the Democratic side's really switched and it's gone far more liberal. And that's where we have a big problem. Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom recall is it. one of the first things we can do to make huge strides. So, if you've been paying attention to our lawsuit battles, we've been extremely successful. We have not lost a lawsuit in at least 10 years. We've won some very big ones, but they've had to write the big checks. $350,000 one time, a quarter of a million dollars another time. On March 18th, things changed drastically. Coastal Commission voted to close the park over a three-year time period. We're going to start by July of next year and closing Pier Avenue, and then slowly phase out and close the park. So if nothing changes right now, the park is closed in three years. So now, I know how silent it is. This is why we got to do things and get involved. When the Coastal Commission made that vote on March 18th, we had 90 days, the clock started to file our legal battles. And if you don't file those within a certain time period, then they're ignored. So we had a hustle. We filed the first lawsuit, which is what's called a CEQA lawsuit, California Environmental Quality Act. And between you and me, it's basically a, hey, you didn't do the right procedure. And since you didn't do the right procedure, you got to stop what you're doing and go back and redo it. We've won those before. The next lawsuit was known as the Coastal Act Violation Lawsuit. Based on the Coastal Commission, you do not have the authority to close this park. We have two state agencies, the Coastal Commission and the State Parks, both equal levels reporting up the Wake Crowfoot and the Resource Department. Wake Crowfoot reports to Gavin Newsom. They do not have the authority, and that's what this lawsuit's about. We feel very confident that we're going to win this one, and it sets a big precedent. It basically says, you can't close this park. But if it's still under the Coastal Commission's jurisdiction, they're still going to squeeze, restrict, because they don't like us. They want us off that beach. Our third lawsuit that we filed is one I'm most proud of. We called it the, <clears throat> in the motion. Basically, it's a quiet title uh, lawsuit. And if we win this, it guarantees the park, guarantees the acreage forever. It's a quiet title lawsuit, and we are all in. So we spent, we had 90 days, Karen and I, as well as our lawyer, we spent 10 weeks down at the Oceano area doing research and doing a bunch of things so we can eat that 90 day clock. We did. If you ever go and look up a quiet title lawsuit, the Coastal Commission has used these to regain access to parks and area. Um, they usually do it on one parcel of land, maybe two. We had to do 145 parcels of land. 145 parcels of land, we had to track the history back to, uh, to Spanish land grants and then bring it all the way forward to know all the ownership. Significant amount of effort, folks. But I'm very proud of where we're at. Part of this is we've been through depositions now. We've been identifying witnesses. It's one thing I've asked, I'm asking of you. If you have been, you or your family have been doing out there for years, we are looking for historical documentation and pictures and witnesses that go back prior to 1965. We've already deposed five witnesses, two in their 90s, three in their 80s, and we're in these rooms, it's our lawyer, the lawyer for State Parks, 
the county, the Air Force Patrol District, and uh, the Coastal Commission. And hammering and going through all the details. That's why I'm showing all this historical uh, videos back there as part of the research we've done to protect our access. So the battle is going to take a while. There's one problem about the legal battle. It takes time. There's no magic switch that's going to get our acres back. But when you get this quiet title for the implied dedication, we get to tear, tell the Air Pollution Control District that vegetation we put in for dust is encroaching on our, our implied dedication removal. Wow. It's powerful. So this is what we can see on the current acreage of the Oceano Dunes. But we're not stopping there. And that's about all I'll say. So folks, the legal battles, our loss, our legal bills have been averaging about $30,000 a month. So we're spending a tremendous amount of money. And it takes all this volunteer organization to raise the funds to do this battle. Not a single salary is paid. Zero. 100% volunteer organizations play itself with them. Need your help. Be generous. This is important. All tax deductible. 100% of the dollars we raise, you donate, goes to the fight. I guarantee you. So, guys, thank you. More chances to get up. I'll feel short enough, Rob, but. Uh, <laughs> I've known this guy since he was less than, he had a little more, less gray hair. So. Yeah, a little bit less gray hair, and that's about, that's all we can say. Yeah, we'll put it that way.